the Renaissance. Today I am going to show you how to bring this painterly style into all your photos in Photoshop. So let's get started. First, I open my image in Photoshop. You can apply all the techniques in this video to any photo, so feel free. Then I take a crack texture, which we'll use to give an aged effect to the image. I paste it into my image with the multiply effect. I'll put it aside, we won't need it for now. I select my photo and then go to filter and then all paint. A window pops up and I can play with different settings. The stylization plays with the style of the stroke and a higher level gives me very smooth and stylized stroke. I want a more subtle effect, so I set it to 2. Then, the cleanliness adjusts the length of my strokes and the higher value, the longest stroke and the most painterly look. I usually prefer a middle to high value, but it depends on your image. The scale affects the thickness of the paint and the higher value, the largest paint coat. This effect is not so blatant here, but I feel the details are nicer around you. The brittle details play with how much the paintbrush is apparent, so I usually leave it to 5 because I feel the details are coming better here. Finally, the lighting indicates the angle of the light affecting your painting. I usually keep the shine between 0.5 and 2 because it's too much with higher volume. Once this is done, I hit on a key. We are not done with this image, because we can notice that the edges are a little blurry because of the filter. So I go to the Unsharp Mask Filter option. You can play with this tool depending on the values you have chosen for the old painting effect. So here I mainly look at the rendering of the hair, which is quite complex and gives me a good indicator of what is good and what is not good at all. Once it's good, I click on OK. I am quite happy with the details, especially the flowers in the bottom left corner, which are quite pretty, I guess. Now I just want my crackle effect back from that old look. Most Renaissance paintings have this rather warm tone, so I'm going to modify my texture with this uh, photo filter tool. I create a clipping mask on the texture only and then start testing the presets until I see one I like. I then reduce the opacity of the texture uh, just a little to blend it better. But now we see that this texture is quite uniform, which can seem a bit off and uneven for a specific part of the image. So I am going to create a layer mask. As a reminder, when with white you add and you delete with black. Here I want a fairly light gray. So I take a large soft brush to blend out the areas that are causing concern. Once that's done, I want to give a warmer look to my image. And for that, I'm going to take an orange to pass it over my image with the soft like um, tool. I remove just a little opacity and it's cool. It's cool, but it looks flat. We'll fix that. After grouping the layers, I duplicate and merge them. Then I go to Filter, then Camera Row Filter. I adjust the basic setting a little to have something a little more contrast and detail. I then make a nice S-curve, like in the movie. I then add a teal and orange side with the color grading part. And finally, I add just a little vignette for a more dramatic side. And it's done. We have more contrast which add depth to the image compared to earlier. Does it look nice? I think it does. Thank you very much for watching this video and I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, please feel free to subscribe if you liked it. I will try to be more regular on the next videos and if you have ideas for more topics, don't hesitate to suggest them in the comments.